Check this out, Jackery just released their all new and upgraded V2 power stations and here they are. This is the Explorer 240 V2 and this is the Explorer 1000 V2. The brand new upgraded V2 versions of their super popular portable power stations. As you can see the 240 V2 is super compact and light just 3.5 kilograms right there. Full able handle, pure sine wave AC with 300 watts in this case, USB-C in out at 100 watts, DC 12 volts up to 10 amps and a great display and not to forget a total capacity of 256 watt hours and goes without saying that the Explorer 1000 takes all of that to the next level. They look very similar but this one comes with a capacity of 1070 watt hours and both of them are now utilizing the LiFePo4 cell chemistry which is much safer than NMC or NCM cell chemistry and with a very very long lifespan. We're talking 10 years and more. Oh yeah and the fast charging capabilities of the V2 are much better as well literally almost by an order of magnitude. The 1000 for example is now topped up in just one hour while the previous model the V1 took around seven hours. Incredible. Other than that the bigger one boasts specs such as a dual AC out combined power of 1500 watts pure sine wave of course. Tons of power right here and both of them are IEC 62040 certified and can be used as emergency power generators or power stations as well. They have a really fast response time less than 20 milliseconds. And one last thing, a fun fact, the capacity of the 1000 is in fact so huge, you can charge a regular phone up to 74 times and a laptop 14 times. Just awesome. So yeah, looks and sounds amazing, right? But are they actually that good? Well, let's find out. Got a new drip from Jackery, the Explorer 240 V2 and the Explorer 1000 V2. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. So here we have the boxes, 5 kilos for this one, 13 for this one. But these are just the outer boxes. We have a box in a box packaging right there. So let me just get rid of the outer shells briefly. So there we go. And they have really nice handles on top as well for pulling them out of the outer boxes. Really cool. So we have the small one. We have the big one. Very, very similar design, as you can tell. Also for the boxes. Let's check out the other side. So most notably, the big one also has handles right there. Very well hidden on this side. But yeah, so this is even nicer for grabbing. But for the small one, it's not needed, of course. And lastly, the back side with all the specs and features right there. Let me grab a close up for you. So the thousand model right there and the smaller brother right there. Other than that, the top is just blank. And with this on the bottom right there, certified boxes. And now we can open them up right there and right there. And now this will open up like this and same for the bigger one. Oh, and by the way, we can actually do this and then, yeah. But anyways, I was able to retrieve the boxes without this as well, but just so you know. And then on top, same for both boxes, we have the user manual and the cable. So user manual, cable, cable and user manual. And then a divider in both cases and the handle will come right out and also this one fully full able handle will come right out and there we go and before we get to it let's of course check out the accessories and the manual so as you can see a really cool orange cable right there with the plug for the wall socket and for the ac fast charging just a regular cable right there with a nice velcro strap as well love to see that same for both power banks and the manuals right there so back side right there let's start with the big one multi-language one two three four and five. Oh, that's actually the last one and the smaller one one two three four five and six easy as that done with the unboxing let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview so we have the foldable handles, really nice grip underneath. Let's rip off this protective film on the screen. We have the rubber protectors, the seals right there and right there. Very similar, really cool with the lights, the 12 volt power buttons, USB, AC, really nice compact form factors. One kilowatt hour right there. And with all the gear in here, it's actually really small and really light, especially this one that is crazy light, super portable. So yeah, let's take a close look. 
I can show you the small one like that because it is actually a dead light. A really nice design with the gray orange highlights and also dark gray and light gray letters. Power button, light button, really nice buttons by the way. USB plugs and the lid with the AC out. We have the side, on the other side this with the AC in. Then on the back we have all the small print right there. Nice rubber feet on the bottom. Love the orange highlights all the way around. Also on the handle, really grippy, folds away. And the big one is very similar in all regards nice grip on the bottom right there really nice injection molded parts the front side is also very similar usb appliances two times ac out the light button power button then on the sides we have this one dc in and ac in nice big air vents on both sides as you can see the back side again we have the small print right there and same as before for a nice rubber feet on the bottom and when the handle is tucked away it's just a nice flat surface so as you can see really nice looking streamlined power stations incredible not bad right so let's check out the app and then of course test them so there we go we can turn them on by just pressing and holding the power button and there we go so I already charged up the little one a little bit and I got them with 30%. That's a great charge level for storage. And now let's plug them in and see what will happen. So the big one is already ramping up big times with the fan activating and the smaller one also charging with a good 100 watts. And when it gets to the app, the publisher is Jackery. And there are two apps. We have the home app and it's just this one right there, Jackery. So let's open it up. Agree. Nice. We can skip that. So here we have the home tab and we also have the me tab with version updates, help and feedback, also temperature settings. That's fine. And this is for the app, by the way. All the devices, they will get handled by the home tab. And we also have a few banner informations right there, but let's click the plus. And for this, we need to register. So let's do this right now. While I wait for the code, as you can hear, the fan is actually pleasant. It's not like a jet fighter engine, even though we are charging at a staggering 700, almost 800 watts. All right, we are signed up and now let's add a device. We have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth flashing in both cases, upper left corner. So that's perfect. Give it all the permissions, of course. And there we have it, both devices. Let's start with the small one, connecting Bluetooth and check this out. We can also connect over Wi-Fi now. That's so awesome. Let's go. And when it's in the network you can of course also control it from from anywhere super powerful so there we have it we can see the charge level the temperature input output light and the screen time and here we can also turn on the dc as well as the ac as you can see it will correspond to the green light right there and we can turn them both off again let's go we have the light highlight and sos right there let's turn it off again and we can also completely turn off the screen but two minutes is best of course. And now let's check out all the settings. We can even edit the device name. We can share devices. Here we can open the camera to scan QR codes and we also have a powerful feature, namely the emergency charging right there. As you can see, it's not recommended for regular use, but you can turn it on. And as a safety precaution, it will turn itself off after that. But yeah, save your battery, only use this in an emergency. We have the energy saving mode right there. This is really great when there is no load, then it will turn off the module. So when you're, for example, charge your phones and when they're full, then it will just turn itself off. Otherwise, every module that's active will draw power, even when there is no load on it. That's why you can activate them individually and turn them off. That's important to know it's for both models, of course. We have the serial number. We can upgrade the firmware. That's looking good to me. We have the device specifications, also great to see. Wow, that's awesome right there. Check that out, all the details. And of course, the user manual, awesome. Check that out. Same great user manual as in paper. And down here we can also unbind it, but let's go back and let's add yet another device. All right, scanning, and now let's add the big one. So as before, connecting to Bluetooth. So you don't actually have to connect to Wi-Fi, but of course it comes with tons of benefits. So we can do it right now. For the next tests, I will also leave the screen record on so that we can monitor it over the app as well. And as you can see, it looks very similar. We have the current input going, we have the charge level, and now we have the animation because it's getting charged. In this case, we can activate low light, high light, and the SOS once again, and the screen right there, two minutes, let's do it. Let's turn off the light, and we have this little icon right there, indicating the charge status, and same as before, yep. 
pretty much the same auto off time right on. Also great for battery saving of course. Good stuff. So now we have the dashboard tab and here we have both power banks. Really awesome. So let's go for a few tests. Let's start with some indoor activities, but of course everything can be done outdoors as well. And for this I will need many devices and many cables. Yeah, USB-A, USB-A, three phones right there. And let's start with the small one. So let's charge this phone right here and let's activate it. Oh, actually my second phone will be my iPhone that I'm currently using for filming this video. There we go. We can see the output now climbing up and another USB-C cable for this phone. Let's go. That means I can use the other station for this phone right there. And as you can see, output 41 watts, that's nothing of course. And another great thing is the flat top of these power stations, because thanks to that, you can easily place a laptop or any other device for that matter. So let's go to the other one, to the big one, because now it is about to get interesting. Actually, let's grab the 30 watts for this one and the 100 watts for this one. For the MacBook, that's just the air model, so we can charge this one. I forgot to turn it on. DC, let's go. The MacBook Airs, they will only charge with 60 watts. So nothing too special. But as you can see, combined output of already 100 watts plus, nice. So we are maxed out when it gets to USB. But we can of course just take this one, charge up this power bank and then we can grab the regular plug for the wall socket and just insert it right here. Boom! Into the laptop. Let's go. Let's turn on the AC over the app. And as you can see we are currently charging it with 500 watts and we have an output of around 120 watts ramping up really dope and the small brother is also easily powerful enough to handle the laptop talking about the brick of course so let's check it out over to the small one and let's go turn it on and now we are ramping up with the small one. The apps are great, but you can also go without them because you will get all the necessary information on the display as well. I love the displays, they look great. And now the small one is also working a bit harder. Around two hours left with the small one. And of course, unlimited time left with the big one. So let's unplug the AC and now we will get an updated time of around, let's see, around 11 hours. Awesome. And now check that out. Tons and tons of devices and you can do all of that and more outside as well. So let's go. There we go, full on scenery, ready for the outdoor test. These power stations are as beautiful as this car right there. Just amazing. I brought my bag with all the cables. So obviously we can do the same that we just saw. We can do it all outside as well. The little one is especially amazing for light trips and for charging your phones countless times and also amazing for drones. For bigger drones, of course, the bigger one is recommended. But for the outdoor stuff, a cable roll is of course recommended. So with the small one, of course, light tasks mainly, but the bigger one can also handle powerful off-grid activities. Let's do something safe for once. This chainsaw right there, of course, we need to activate it. And now, okay, just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. We can go for medium vacuums. Of course, there are also pressure washers that you can drive with this. This one will need over 2000 watts, but smaller ones, no problem. And this angle grinder right there. Let's see. So let's go. Very nice. So let me show you what it will look like on the screen. Let's turn it on. So even tools like this, no problem. And again, laptops, absolutely nothing for this power station. Let's turn it on, charge it up. So yeah, <laughs> pretty dope devices. Super port able and this one with a lot of capacity and great strength and power to drive. Even medium sized tools easily. So yeah, the Jackery V2 Explorer series gets a massive thumbs up from my side. Improved on all levels and there is more than just these two. Check out the complete lineup, it's definitely worth a look. They have awesome stuff, especially the redesigns. It really shows that they understand their craft. So as you saw, both power stations got hugely upgraded on all fronts. Much better hardware that enables way higher energy transfer rates and also crazy fast charging capabilities. But if you don't want that through the app, you can also charge them slowly to preserve the battery life for a very long time. And the slow charge is also virtually silent. Great looks, great build quality, great hardware. I love the new concept. They bring a lot to the table, especially for the price point. Great 
value power stations right there. Super versatile, many use case scenarios, camping, adventuring, the van life, you name it. And they are perfect for solar panel charging as well. And there are combo offers with solar panels available as well. So definitely check out the whole product range. Check out the whole lineup because I can definitely recommend it. So yeah, all in all, the V2 Explorer lineup is a definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech minded videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.